I'm Brian McGuinness. I'm 51 years of age. I'm from Points Pass, uh, County Armagh. I, I enjoy sport and walking, and I'm a survivor uh, of two years of pancreatic cancer. I first noticed my symptoms of pancreatic cancer in October 2020. Uh, I had pale stool and dark urine, uh, and that prompted me to ring my GP. The diagnosis uh, of my pancreatic cancer was on October the 31st and I had surgery on November the 29th, so a short period of, of four weeks with various scans and procedures uh, in the period in between. The speed of the whole process was was unbelievable in many ways. Uh, I went through the system uh, seamlessly. Uh, the speed at which the, the GP realised there was something significant wrong was, was, was reassuring. Daisy Hill then was, was again put me through to the Belfast Trust as a, as a red flag and from there on the process only lasted three short weeks. I was an ideal candidate for the Whipple's procedure based on the early diagnosis, uh, my age and my level of fitness. My sister-in-law Claire uh, was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in January of this year and sadly died uh, only four weeks ago uh, of pancreatic cancer. That had a significant impact on me and my wider family, uh, particularly my, my wife. I had significant guilt challenges with the whole process of, of seeing somebody die from what I had survived. But in many ways, it, it has been a healing process for me as well. Claire's symptoms were, weren't as obvious as mine. Uh, she had a sore back, but equally she, she was exercising and she thought she had done the damage uh, to, her, to her back from the exercise. Uh, she had rheumatoid arthritis, so she was getting tablets that uh, mocked some of the, the symptoms as well. So it was only when Claire started to lose significant weight, she went to Daisy Hill and her process of diagnosis started really, really quickly then. Talking to everybody out there, I, I would simply say if you have any of the symptoms of, of pancreatic cancer, uh, as, as outlined, dark urine, white stool, sore back, I would go to you, make sure you go to your GP as soon as possible. The simple message to the public that I would give would be that time really does matter when it comes to pancreatic cancer.